Now, speaking of the Hamilton Center, we've been celebrating black history all month. And a big and unfortunate part of black history is the distrust that we tend to have with the medical community. And it stops us from really getting the help that we need. Well, Hamilton Center is shedding a light on the importance of seeking that help when it comes to mental health. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Melvin L. I am the CEO of Hamilton Center, and I'm with a great partner of mine, Miss or Sister Halima. And we're here to talk about mental illness and the African American experience. There's a history of distrust because of past wrongs that have been done. Um, things like Tuskegee experiments where research was done on African Americans without their knowledge and they were harmed over years. And so this has definitely impacted or influences the way that African Americans view the uh, health system in America uh, and can make people more hesitant to, to seek help. Back in the 1800s, African American churches have become has the, they slowly built up to becoming the leader in the community. So everything was ran through the church. And so the church had a different perspective when it came to mental illness. Sometimes people view seeking help um, as something that somehow reflects their lack of faith. So if they don't go seek help through the church, um, but go to a medical provider, that sometimes, somehow they're saying that they don't think that um, God can help them or uh, deal with their problems. Uh, if you're a father and a mother and you have children and you and you living in this environment, you know the people who live in the environment. You know when something is going wrong in their life. And by their behavior, whether they're non-talkative or whether they're too talkative. And you sense that something is wrong. So when that is, what happens is in the beginning, years ago, people used to try to, to deal with it themselves. So you know the same symptoms are there regardless whether you're African-American, whether you're Caucasian, those symptoms are there. Think of it as this. If there are things that you need to do on a daily basis and there's something that's getting in the way of you doing that, then it might be time to go ask for help. So if you need to be able to work, take care of your family, um, and you aren't able to do that because of your emotions or um, things like he said, you're sleeping too much and can't get up out of bed or you're not getting any sleep at all. Um, you're more withdrawn, um, can't enjoy things that you used to. Any sort of change that prevents you from being able to you know, take care of business, then it might be time to ask for help. Taking care of our mental health is just as important as taking care of our physical health. It's not a moral failing. It doesn't mean something's wrong with you. You have a problem. There are people who are specialized to help with this. Sometimes we utilize uh, groups. We utilize partners, friends, to help encourage the individual. If an individual sees that there's people that they trust and they know, and they believe in that person, this person there is telling them to seek help, they're more apt to seek help. We must understand the trust, the lack of trust is deep between the two cultures. It is deep. And so we must understand that. And to understand it, then you will be understood when you explain it to the individual. Yes, Black History Month is very important, but I'm saying to you and for us, to narrow that gap between the races, we must start doing things that unite instead of divide.
I am so happy that we are finally talking more about mental health. It's so important and sometimes we like to pretend like it's not, but it definitely is. Asking and finding help when you know that you really need it is one of the most strong and brave things you can do. So if you have more questions and would like to reach out to Hamilton Center, please go to their website, www.hamiltoncenter.org. And on the website, you can even find adult and youth mental health screening, along with more information.